This meeting is being recorded. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning in the evening, sweethearts. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Xander. Good good. Good evening, Rosa. Good evening, Kai. Welcome to have you on the show today with yeah. Rosa and Sander chatting non duality. Beautiful. Beautiful, yes. Kai. Um, I'm very happy that yeah. you're here. It's, uh, and... it's just... Yes, likewise. Yeah. Cool. So let's start with, uh, with some stories of Kai. Um, of feel free. Stories of Kai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kai doesn't have any stories. <laughs> oh! Oh, come yeah. on! Yeah, you see, Kai is a person, and, and only persons have stories, you see. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm kind of uh, joking now, of course, but uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's half-truth. Half-truth, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't have any exciting story today. Just to come, It was just a kind of a rather... Um, Kind of a, one of those days when things don't really flow very well, but that's just how it is or was. Yeah. And uh, I was just um, telling Sander how, um, you know, the, about the Finnish mentality that everything is, has to be like just a certain way. And if you kind of step out of that, then it's like you're doing something a bit strange. <laughs> so, and like, you know, I've spent most of my life abroad so I always feel like a tourist here. So I'm 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 a perpetual tourist in this country. Perpetual tourist, and now in Finland. I'm a total yeah perpetual tourist in Finland. Yeah, sure. Love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just observing, you know, observing the the natives, how okay. they how they how they do things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kai, my dear, would you would you tell us a bit about your um, about your spiritual um, path? There are interesting I things which I heard. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's to make a a long a long story short. Um, I would say that um, I would say that. Um, I guess I, I, I had um, the interest was there already when I was maybe around eighteen years old, and you know things like Zen and uh, and also I heard about Krishnamurti and and um, those things just kind of somehow caught my interest already at that age, but then um, but then I kind of got quite involved in uh, samsara <laughs> for some years. You know, samsara. Does well, that what is this? Help? What is this? What is samsara? Yeah. Um, oh, uh, Sander, do you do you have any idea what samsara is? Well, it's this. It's this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> samsara is this. Uh, what else? I mean, uh, there's nothing else but samsara, so to say. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's difficult to define actually what it is. It is, it is of course, just this. Yes. Um, but it's also, it's supposed to be the opposite of nirvana, but actually samsara and nirvana are one. Yes. What is nirvana? Okay, come on. What, what is this language? Okay. What Nir is nirvana? Nir nirvana, nirvana, is, nirvana is a state of total uh, bliss. It's total... Um, mm. mm -hmm. This total, total happiness, uh, total bliss, total freedom. That's nirvana. Mm -hmm. You know, no more problem. Just, just everything is just amazing, just beautiful, just, just harmonious, just, um, yeah, just beautiful. And then, of course, samsara is the opposite. It's the world of suffering, of illusion, of delusion, of uh, mm -hmm. disappointment, uh, you know, all that stuff mm -hmm. is uh, samsara. Yeah. And, and, and the, and <laughs> the funny thing is, yeah. yes, the funny thing is that this is samsara and nirvana both simultaneously at the same time yes. for no one to be suffering and no one to be blissful already. Yes, I, absolutely. You said it. That's right. Beautiful. That's right. Yeah. 
so yeah so that's uh, so at that age that's what i was i started getting interested in and then of course i had to experience samsara to deepen my interest so that was good mm. samsara is always good <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> and then uh, yeah um then i got went more deeply later like maybe 10 years later um i went more deeply into things like yeah zen and krishnamurti and jido and, um, jido krishnamurti yeah. and then the, gradually the non duality teachings in general so also the non duality teachings from india called advaita i was very much so basically i'm kind of very cross disciplinary in my spiritual sort of path that i'm open to the advaita i'm open to buddhism i'm open to many things and um and yeah I don't know what else to say. Of course I've had all kinds of quite amazing experiences but but then again experiences are just experiences at the, at, at the end of the day and they're they're impermanent. So I can you know I can talk about you know experiences of bliss and what not that I've had or kundalini but they all came and went and you know Beautiful. I'm still here like a normal human being. I mean I haven't really you know I'm not in this state of amazing bliss. I'm just here as i am yeah it, it, i i just want to interrupt interrupt you a little bit because it's so beautiful yeah. um because uh, there's a pointing to uh to the normalization of this and uh, you know and, and in in the in the seeker's eyes the 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 so-called special experiences of bliss and all whatever maybe seem to have happened or not is is just like uh like something to grab on and something to to come back and and at a certain point you know this kundalini or whatever names you can give it be are just as interesting as going to the toilet or or whatever seems to be happening or not it's just uh Yeah no I don't you know it's there's no point in sort of putting those experiences up on a pedestal because yeah. they're experiences and they're impermanent you know and and as you know in my in my understanding it's not really about experiences and in fact of, of course when I was younger I was really into you know novel experiences it's normal if you're of a certain age but but i i'm not at that stage anymore so i'm not like looking for novel experiences anymore i'm just quite happy just just being actually i'm not looking for these you know amazing experiences anymore so th that's that's how it is yeah and and the funny thing of course was that there there was already no guy looking for anything but there was just that's looking right. And now yeah. the looking yeah. has just totally collapsed for no reason, and we may say this is because uh, I'm turned older or whatever apparent reason you want to give to the end of searching. But there's just this, as I as I want to, as I understand in your words, there's just this kai kaiing, so to say. Yeah, this kaiing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and. Um... Yeah, I mean all this efforting that I've practiced, you know, for so many years. I mean, I just don't see the point. However, it doesn't mean that I'm super lazy now. Actually, <laughs> actually, for me, just you know, it's it's not like okay, I'm done with efforting now. I can be lazy. No, it's not not like that. Um, I can be very um, active and very. Um, for example, yeah, um, try for example. What are you doing? Well, for example, I mean, I'm just, I just couldn't imagine myself, you know, like being a, a slouch and watching TV. I just, you know, I just can't imagine. I mean, okay. I mean, I haven't watched TV in many years, actually. I don't even have a TV. I threw it away many years ago. So I, let's see, how, let's see how long I keep my laptop, you know, I mean, I may throw that away too, but uh You are, and, Makai, uh, yeah, Makai, you, so... you are, you are kind of a, a yoga teacher or... I, I've been a yoga and meditation teacher. Um, I mean, I, I only teach if I'm asked to. So I'm I don't I'm not interested in promoting myself. Um, okay. So only when if people ask, then I'll I'll give a you know, whatever. 
a okay. seminar, a course, whatever they want, you know, but I don't, I don't like, I don't believe in promoting oneself because besides there's nobody there to be promoted. So, but yeah. You but know, you're I still just, active in this, Kai? You're still active in this? Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm active on and off. Yeah, I'm not active at the moment, but I, I, I've been, I've been very active and, but it's now, nowadays it's more kind of, um, you know, not all the time, not all the time. And then, uh, oh. but I also do other other things and just to bring in some um, um, some earnings. So I, I I worked a lot with languages. So that's kind of a one of my careers is just working with languages because I speak five and quite well. Yeah, and, this is beautiful. And so German and French. Lot, yeah, so I've done a lot. Yeah, just a lot of translating uh, translating articles, books, you name it. Um, and uh, teaching languages, translating, um, and then I do some writing as well these days. I don't know if a book will come out of it, but let's see. And, uh, and then I've um, what about yeah, I've also what about? Uh, about the book. Oh, it's just about it's about being. <laughs> it's oh, a book about beautiful. being. Beautiful, beautiful. And, uh, and then I uh, back in the day I made uh, films. I made short films back in the day. But not 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 like uh, not nothing nothing commercial, totally mm -hmm. uncommercial, more like independent, independent films, more like what, what they used to call experimental films. So oh, I was really into that for for a long time, and I made you know quite a few. And and, um, and can you maybe yeah, Kai, can, so you, can, always... you, can you maybe can you maybe share this with me? I would love to to watch them. Um, I can share them at some point. I can't share them right now, but because, but um, when I, yeah, at some point, I hope to be able to share them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just let me know. But I'm it, I'm curious it was, uh, about it. Yeah. Um. Well. Yeah. Um. I mean. Um. Honestly, I don't. You know. I I really back in the day, uh, a long time ago, I was really my life was you know a cinema was a a great passion. You know, I just saw so many possibilities, you know, in film because you have sound and image and so many ways to work with sound and image. And, and you know, I was interested in more in this kind of uh, film where that's like stream of consciousness. I wasn't interested in just like telling a, a normal story. I wasn't really interested in like doing a normal documentary. I was always interested in the other possibilities. Like, like I say, the more stream of consciousness, you know, aspect that that film can... Uh, that film can portray so that was kind of more my my interest and um and then um well then i when i moved to finland um from canada then i made one more film and um and then i didn't um i was really disappointed because i i needed some money for post-production so they never um were, were willing to fund fund the post-production so i only have uh, that film on on video at least i have it on video because it was a film film, not, you know, video, film. it was film, mm -hmm. you know, um, so, so um, then I kind of, kind of um, gave it up after that. I thought, well, this, it's, it's, filmmaking is getting too expensive, you know, I'm not rich, you know, and then I just kind of lost a bit of interest. I kind of lost interest because um, I didn't get the support that I, I would have needed. And then I just, um, and then I just embarked like, more to, like totally on the, the so-called um, spiritual path. Yeah, after that, my my film <laughs> my film uh, career ended. Sweet. And uh, but in the meantime, I do teaching. I do translation. I do whatever, whatever. You know, I don't. I don't. I never uh, had a normal career, so it's okay. <laughs> mm. Somehow I've always managed doing cool. whatever was I could do at the time. And um, yeah, I lived in um, four or five countries, um, grew up in Belgium and Canada, and I was born in um, Berlin, Deutschland, <laughs> West Berlin, actually. Yeah. I was born in West Berlin, but I just was went to Berlin to be born. After that, um, I was maybe three years old and the family moved to Brussels in Belgium and then I, I know um, those stories the same year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I, I learned French and German at school. 
in Brussels. It was an international school. And then um, when I was 10 years old, we moved to Canada. And then I basically, unfortunately, I kind of forgot my German, but then I became fluent in English and English became my, my first language, actually. So, um, and then later, as an adult, I, um, I, I had to come back to Europe because of family situation, because of the family situation. Um, I thought, I felt I was needed back, back home. And then I came, came to Finland and then um, I was in Finland for about 10 years. And then I moved to Spain. I was there for about 10 years and now I'm back in Finland <laughs> like that. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, country Finland hopper. Never... A country hopper. <laughs> country hopper, except that Finland doesn't want to let go of me. I, I've, I'm quite happy. I would be happy to let go of Finland, but Finland but doesn't I, want to I let go of me. I thought you did. I thought you did. Because you left to... to what was your last trip? My last trip? Uh, yeah, well, I was in... Um, I, I just spent like two months in Tenerife in Canary Islands. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And why no, that was not a holiday there? actually. Holiday, okay. I thought you were going uh, to stay there. Uh, well I kinda had to come I had to come back before Christmas to just I had to take care of things and, and to see fam to see my relatives and yeah, I can't can't just like hang out forever, you know, somewhere, you know. <laughs> I have to come back to reality from time to time. Yeah, but, back to um, reality. Yeah. Whoa, that's a yeah, so, so called, so called reality. Yeah, so called, which isn't reality. Yeah. Yeah. So what else? Um, yeah. So I'm a chronic traveler. Um, traveled an awful lot. Um, Europe, Asia, North America, South America, and um, the places that mm, were the most inspiring. Um, well, I suppose. Um, Colombia was quite very, very fascinating. The country of Colum Col Colombia, why in South America? And, uh, it's just, uh, yeah, it's like full on life. You know, yeah. you go to Colombia and it's like life full on. You know, you know, it's like it's in a different way. India is also the same. Its life is really full on. It's really in your face. But it's uh, in a very different way. So both, I think, both Colombia and India, I enjoyed because of that intense. Well, India for this, it's difficult to describe India if one hasn't been there because there's a very special atmosphere there. It's very intense on the one hand, and on the other hand, it's like, it's like, um, it's it's like med being in meditation. It's very strange. It's difficult to explain. But it's like, on the one hand, it's really intense. On the other hand, it's like just being in meditation at the same time that it's very intense. Zander, have you been and, there? Uh, yeah. No, no, I've not uh, been to India. But, not yet. Uh, mm -hmm. because, of, uh, because of I was with the Isha Foundation and with Sadhguru. Uh, and mm -hmm. I was working as a volunteer. For the Isha Foundation, mm -hmm. so I have a lot of friends and um, connections in India, mm -hmm. uh, and people from India living in Stockholm, which I visit now and then. Yeah, so, uh, but I've not been there. Um, no. Okay. But there is um there is an an ambience and atmosphere in India that's very special. Um, and it's difficult to really describe it, but all I can say is that when I that, that I've been to I've made like two trips to India, the long trips, one month each time, and then I've made. What Kai, What was the reason? What was the reason to go to India? Okay, the basically two reasons. Uh, I was involved with a yoga community at the time, and I went to spend time at at an ashram in northern India. Um, and uh, the other reason was that I had I had a desire, a wish for many, many years to visit um, a town in the Himalayas called Darjeeling. It's known for the tea, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. known for the tea. but it's, it's a, it's a really, it's, um, it's a breathtakingly beautiful place. Um, okay. It's really an amazing place at, um, 
at an altitude of 2,300, 400 meters. And you see the, the high Himalayas there from there, and it's just amazing. It's just, um, it's like another, another world, another dimension almost. But, um, but why Darjeeling? Because my granny, my Finnish grandmother was born in Darjeeling, mm -hmm. India. So that's, yeah. and, and I, all my life I wanted to go to this town in the Himalayas where my, my granny was born. My Finnish granny, she wasn't Indian, she was Finnish. And so her her father or her parents, I guess they had um, this thing about India uh, because he was teaching uh, children up there in the Himalayas. My grand-grandfather was teaching children in Sikkim. Sikkim is now an independent, no, it's not an independent country, sorry. It's um, semi, mm, it's like, uh, it's part of India now, but it used to be a, an independent kingdom before the 1960s. Um, and Sikkim is this uh, magical place that's, maybe it's a lot like Bhutan. I've never been to Bhutan because Bhutan is super expensive to go to, but Sikkim is like uh, maybe um, uh, maybe a much more inexpensive version of Bhutan, but it's, there's a purity there. It's, there's, um, it's a very, it's a beautiful place, Sikkim. It's very pure. Uh, I mean, India, you know, has everything, every kind of, huh. mm every kind of beauty and every kind of horror actually you'll find in India. But, but Sikkim is like this kind of um, pure land, like a pure land, but it's, it is part of India. And so I went there as well. And, um, and it, that was like um, one of the magical trips of my life. And also I, I found Bali, Indonesia, um, in, in a way, very, very magical, very magical. Yeah, it didn't feel like uh, being in this world. So those are some of the highlights of my my travels. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing in Finland, boy? Well, uh, honestly, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I mean, of course not. There is no one who not. can know. <laughs> this is perfection yeah. in action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. I I really don't know. I have no idea at all. Not not the faintest idea. I believe idea you. I, I totally believe you. Yeah. I mean, I honestly, I feel like uh, I'm an ET from outer space here. Uh, like something happened at the supermarket today and it was like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. I really feel like an alien from outer space. Tell me, tell me what happened. Oh, oh I told Sandra already. It's just, it, or not. Yeah. No, this just well, not really happened. Thing, you know, but no, sorry, guy, I was joking. Well, Tell Rosa the story because he's very curious. So for the sake of the story, story, come on. For the sake of the story. Well, you see, in this country, everything has to be done a certain way. You know, you, you're supposed to walk on the right side of the sidewalk. You know, if you're on the wrong side of the sidewalk, then that's not good. Somebody's going to make a comment. I'm serious. I'm not joking. Mm -hmm. So uh, at the supermarket, true. everybody is supposed to... Everybody's supposed to be pushing that heavy cart, you know. We're all supposed to be pushing that cart. I, I'm not. I don't like pushing this big cart in the supermarket because I tend to, you know, I tend to crash into people. So I just <laughs> have my, my my bag and I put the groceries in the bag. But then this uh, ca cashier runs after me and said, "You can't do that. You have to use that cart." And I said, "What the hell for?" I, I started getting at, rather angry, actually. But um, and then uh, I mean, it's just it's just absurd. It's just absurd. Some of the things that, you know, happen in this country It's totally absurd. I wish I was yeah. back in <laughs> India, you know, really, because in India, every anything goes, you know, and anything goes. You can be totally crazy and it's OK. Well, yeah. anyway. the, the, the funny thing is that, you know, it all just simply innocently arise you know the thinking it's observed yeah. absurd yeah and it's saying well you yeah. cannot go here with your card no one is doing that already no one is saying to guy but yeah of course totally it seems like there are many many rules and and crazy crazy things going on yeah and the reaction do whatever seems to be happening is just arising you know what the hell is this can i not do I need to have my card here? 
Yeah, it's perfection. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't even want to push the damn thing. You know, I just want to be, you know, free to just, yeah, do my, my shopping and not push this cart everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's so it's so beautiful how it how it how it plays how it freely plays, you know, um, everything. Because because the country is so orthodox. I mean, uh, you know, so everything is so you, you know has to be like this. Then of course you have a lot of there are a lot of people that that revolt also in Finland. So there that you know the people that um, they just not willing to conform in any way to this you know to this society. And Rebellion. Of course they, yeah, yeah. They, 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 so then you have this whole kind of subgroup of total rebels in this country who don't want anything to do with this shit. You know, it's so it's so funny. <laughs> Anyway, that's that's Finland. And of course, uh, yeah, I mean, Finland is known for uh, heavy metal music, you know. <laughs> Some of the rebels, they go into heavy metal music and others go into, uh, I don't know, whatever. They do strange, uh, they become artists or uh, they become uh, dropouts, whatever, whatever. So uh, anyway, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, unescapable. You just so. have to yeah, you just have to laugh. You just have to laugh. Because, mm. because it's, well, it's perfect. So. You know, it's it's perfect, I would say. It's just yeah. however it seems to be, you know? Crazy, crazy, yeah. or whatever yeah. you may call it. Like, yeah. Just how it plays out. And it's... Uh, and I had, a, I had a Tai Chi teacher um, for some years, and he's Danish. And he's like this guy, um, he used to come to Finland back in the day. Um, and he used to come always um, for some days to teach Tai Chi and then he'd go back to Denmark. So um, so when, when he started coming to Finland and he would be walking down the street in Helsinki and uh, you know, he's like almost two meters tall. So it's impossible not to notice him, <laughs> you know, it's super tall and he looks kind of a bit different. You know, he had, he had kind of long hair and a beard, and he doesn't look like the normal sort of uh, Finn, not at all. And he couldn't he couldn't figure it out. He felt completely invisible on the street in in Helsinki. He just couldn't figure it out. How come uh, me? I'm I'm so tall. I'm I look so strange, and nobody even look looks at me. You know, I just feel like I don't exist here. So that gives you some some idea of what this country is like. Beautiful. It's like you can be totally invisible, but of course, all of a sudden you're, you become visible when you do something the wrong way. <laughs> so you're invisible until you do something the wrong way. Then all of a sudden you, you become very visible. You know, Kai, um, here this character yeah. also plays very freely always no matter what uh, country yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah this is also a sense when the city even the city you know in germany it depends yeah. on in which part of germany you are this could be totally open yeah. wide blown open and interactive or totally closed yeah. and um yeah and and he, here this character is very open also very international kind yeah. of you know and yeah, I yeah, always yeah. had those crashes and I'm just kind um, of maybe mm, used to it and kind of playing with yeah. this because it's not if someone if, if someone is straight here telling me the rules because I of course did not uh, did not play the rules of course not mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. it's kind of funny in a way I just oh, sorry 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 yeah sure I will do this mm -hmm. you know but um, it, it's not, I don't feel, um, I don't feel kind of uh, suppressed, oppressed in my freedom. It's simply okay. Mm -hmm. They wanted to do, well, then I will take the shopping cart, you know, if, if yeah. the bag is not allowed, because I understand why, you know, the reason is obvious. Yeah. And even if it's, it's bullshit, but okay, who cares? But it's, it's funny. I'm also very, um, playing out very openly, freely the way. Mm -hmm. The way it is and it's yeah yeah actually um one thing that i i appreciate in spain because i appreciate different things of course in different cultures and countries and 
one thing that I appreciate in Spain, I, I know Spain, I know the problems in Spain, I know very well, but um, but it's uh, there's a very much this kind of attitude of uh, live and let live in Spain. And um, maybe it's a kind of Latin thing. I, I, maybe, um, well, I've of course been to other Latin countries too, like Colombia and Italy and Greece, but um, but there's this kind of basic attitude of just just live and let live. Yeah, love it. I, I really love, I love that attitude. I really love Me it. Me too, totally. Yeah, which is probably yeah. one reason why I stayed so long in Spain. You know, ten ten plus years. Yeah. You should return to Spain, my dear. Really. Um, it's um, well, I don't know. I I feel like I've done my. I kind of did my thing there already, but um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's, Let's see. see. I don't know. No yeah. choice in yeah. this. What's going to happen? Yeah. And uh, no, Kai, now, now, um, is there? How how is it playing there with Kai? Kai, is there kind of um a drive, a kind of feeling like a lack, like having to to do, to reach something, or um, how would you describe it there? Yeah. Or is everything like full and complete for no reason, or you know what I mean? The, the, yeah. Um, is it kind well, of going, is easy uh, going, or uh, more like... Uh, yeah, I mean, um, for me, um, just to to flow with 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 what's 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 happening that's kind of the that's kind of my way my natural way is just to flow with with what's happening um and um i can get frustrated when the flow stops but that is also seen um the but, frustration um, is seen the frustration is seen of course yeah of course yeah yeah but i'm very much um uh, or this character Kai is very much into 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 the flow, into flowing, you know, like a river, like a yeah. river. And when it's, it's yeah. What does it mean, yeah. Kai? What does it mean to be into flowing? It means um, well, it means actually that you're not you're not resisting anything. You're not resisting anything. You just going with the you know the the current of whatever is happening and um you're not judging and you're not resisting so that's already in a sense when you're not judging you're not resisting then you're kind of in the flow to some extent at least and then there's a way also of being where you can be um still inside and still be in the flow and uh, so you have that stillness inside, but you're still in the flow, in the movement. But at the same time, this, there's an inner stillness. So you're not like caught up in, you're not like overwhelmed by the, by the torrent, by the, the river, but you're at the same time, you're, there's a stillness inside. And you're, you can also, you can, in a sense, you can enjoy The frozenness. The frozenness. You can enjoy the frozenness. You're, you're, <laughs> this is a perfect hand. timing. So, Kai, my dear, you're frozen. Let's see what's going to happen. So, um, you're, back. Back. You're, yeah, back you're back. You're back. You're, you're yeah, back. Yeah, it's, uh, I live in the middle of nowhere, you know, and the internet connection is not so not so great here. But uh, I'm perfection. Uh, perfection, yeah, yeah. Xander. So, well, yeah. the the funny thing here here it's seen that there's just the flow, mm -hmm. and, and the flow is agitation or frustration, but there's no one in the flow or doing the flow or not flowing. There's just simply the flow. And the yeah. agitation is the flow. And the thinking yeah. there's something else is also the flow. There's just only the flow. And 
There's no one who can get out of the flow or get into the flow or to flow. There's just the flow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there with yeah. Kai over there, there's a Kai in the flow. <laughs> well, well oh. no, I mean, uh, I don't know. When there's that stillness, there's, there isn't really a Kai in the flow. Um, <laughs> there isn't, uh, no, no, there isn't uh, this door, you know? Door isn't there. Well, well <laughs> the funny thing is that, you know, but the suggestion is that there the, you know there's there's never a doer there never was a doer anyway you know it, it was not that the doer is here sometimes yeah of course but the sense of of doing something and not doing something is already undoable i mean because there's never a doer but of course wh when when you're suggesting well there can be a sense of doing uh, or a sense of not doing yeah totally and anything Anything may just simply happen, you know, the feeling I'm doing this and I'm resisting or I'm not resisting today uh, is just simply, but that is as doerless, so to say, as anything else which seems to arise. So the sense of I am doing the flow or I'm getting in the flow or today I'm resisting is as doerless as anything which seems to or not seems to be happening. Yeah, it's it's in a way quite empty. The whole thing is quite empty, no matter what you call it. Being in a flow, yeah, yeah. not being in a flow, stillness, uh, consciousness, awareness, confusion. Well, blah 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 blah. Yeah, it it it, it was so. It was uh, maybe you want to maybe you want to react, Kai, to this. Yeah, we, we uh, of course, Kai. I would love you to react if you like, of course. But there is no choice. But in yeah. part number two, okay, my dear, in part number two, yeah. just hold it, yeah, hold sure. it here, not forgetting where we where we stop now, <laughs> Zander. Think of it. Yeah, but I can, okay. I can, I can connect yes, directly with Beautiful. Uh -huh. So I see you in part number two, guys. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, -bye.